Hello and welcome for gamers. My name is Borek and this is another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. Look at that gas giant sunrise. Well, maybe it's not sunrise, but it's rise of the gas giant that is in this solar system. In the previous episode, unfortunately, I have learned something new yesterday. <laughs> that you cannot repair bases to act as capital vessels and all of you yeah unfortunately think like things like that do happen that kind of a sucks but what can you do apparently only in the minefields you can find capital vessels that are available for restoration although i don't know how often you can find those capital uh, those um, minefields as in mine starter system i have only found like a front part like a nose of a capital vessel that i've used to work with in the past but there's really no point of me doing that look at that isn't that beautiful so i'm not going to be chasing that ghost over there what i am going to chase is a level right now we need to level up somewhere over in here there is a drone that if i kill it i should get some experience experience points and if i'm not uh, uh, wrong i don't have to have i don't need to get as many points as don't know well i have to get some points but it's not like a huge number so it's not gonna be that bad uh, although yeah why i have not detected the thingy jig yeah there is a xyrex cannon drone oh yeah uh, there is a Xyrex cannon drone over there in the distance and yeah, I'm planning to kill them as I will get some experience point experience points by doing so and maybe if I as I will be doing that he might actually be able current range 186 he might actually be willing to call in friends and those friends if they are dead they will give me some additional points as well okay so 200 meters away from me I'll try to get as close to him as possible you know why because that's always a good tactic like so and then shoot him in the eye bam there you go don't tell me that i have not got any experience yeah i did hmm i haven't noticed how much but all all it's not that bad right i have seen a few other um a few other drones over in here maybe not that close but there's one as well one click away so let's go there let's get that bastard and as I, will, as I will get another level then I will be able to unlock the constructor and I would like to have a deconstructor on one of the bases that I'm planning well one of the capital vessels that turned out to be bases and that way I will be able to deconstruct all those parts and get all the components needed for the construction or reparation or restoration or renovation most probably of my oh shit that is one big drop of my mm, shoebox yeah that's that's the plan at least we shall see how it's gonna go okay so i have another one over there 800 900 meters away near the communication center and if the communication center is gonna be hmm let's say Maybe not an easy target, but a target that I might somewhat acquire in a way. Try to acquire, that would be relatively good because we could actually get a few more levels. We shall see how it's gonna go. There's uh, really rough terrain over in here. So let's try and not get stuck on any other trenches as I did before, but I guess that might actually happen right now. Okay, where is he? Well, it wasn't that bad. It was actually relatively easy. So over in here, we have a temperature of m minus 114 Celsius degrees. So not that bad in terms of temperature as I have EVA boost on me. And the radiation is relatively well zero. So I don't have to worry about that at all. Right, those bullets I could spend or expedite or sell. Okay, there is a drone. I don't know if these are turrets. I think we can get relatively close to that location. So let's try and do that and then we'll find out what to do next about this. 
Right, I still need 3,000 more experience points. So it shouldn't be that hard to get. But I don't know if there's gonna be... I don't want to mine a tunnel to get there. Oh, crap. I hate those elevations. Or cracks in the crust of the surface. That's really bad. Especially that I'm being exposed. Now, what worries me is uh, troop transport will be. Yeah, oh, great. Okay, not that bad. Troop transport most probably is gonna be dispatched after me. Right, that guy is 300 meters away. There's a trench over in here. That should allow me to get the good cover. And now I should be in range to get him. That's nice. Oh, oxygen level seems to be a problematic thing. Now, I will get a bit closer to the base. And then I could turn on the lights so you can at least see a bit better. And then scout ahead. Yeah, you can see that there are turrets over there. Hmm. That might be a bit too much. With 50 bullets, I don't think I can do any harm to those turrets. Okay, yeah, uh, so I shall be heading back home <laughs> to the base that I own, mobile bales, and then I will try to find a few more drones to get that, that level going. Right, so as soon as I will get that level, I will let you guys know, as I will stop skidding on the ice as well. So stay tuned, be right back. Oh crap, there's a hole. Well, actually, I was attacked by a minigun drone on the way going back home, and that kind of sucks. I have absolutely no idea what happened. But my motorbike just exploded under my ass <laughs> as I was going that direction towards my ship. I was thinking that this uh, signal that I got from that drone was the drone that I've already destroyed. But apparently new showed up or respawned. So I'm, I hope that my vessel is quite alright. But that was really not cool experience, especially knowing the fact that, well, yeah, I need oxygen. Okay, I have a few bottles over here, but I've lost my mini bike. That used to be invincible. I remember that in the past, from the past. Okay, now I have to slowly walk 300 meters, which seems to be like forever in this low gravity force field this place and my mobility is not boosted at all right so that was really a surprise attack from them but that leads me well roughly two drones to get to get to another level right going back home oh let's hope that i will su survive well it wasn't that bad 30 oxygen i still have those engines running right uh trust us i mean let me just turn them off mm, because i don't want to be burned Right, let's get some oxygen, let's get some health, let's get some food, and then we are on our jolly ride again. Right, I'm gonna pop it over in here, uh, since honestly I have absolutely no idea in which container I have what. Now, uh, as for this, I need to start making some food. Let's make a few mm, burgers, because I am running low on that, and let me just check how my farm is doing not that bad not that bad at all although it doesn't yield me that huge amount of vegetables and pro plant protein but at least this setup does give me some sort of a uh, protection in terms of food right i should repair that as well because i think it might be broken no it actually isn't so that's a plus but those carbon composite blocks really do suck big time now there was also um a capital vessel over in here, somewhere in here, no, that's over there, uh, that I'm willing to go to, to check it out, because 
it was standing in a 45 degrees angle and it looked like uh, froze to death over in here so let's go there and I know that on the way most probably we will encounter a few other bases, few other drones that will try to bite my fingers off okay we are entering hostile territory of Xyrex there is a huge base look at the amount of drones that just spawned in there's another base and we should be a okay to fly over them should doesn't mean that we will but we shall see how it's gonna go and what will happen there's a okay there are missiles coming in my direction so that sucks but yeah I think we're okay okay more drones there's a minigun drone 700 meters away okay then I think we are there. Right, I shouldn't have too much trouble dealing with that pesky minigun drone that is 500, 600 meters away. But if you will have a look, what kind of a awkward design that thing is. I have never seen something like that in my life. Cool, isn't it? Let's go there and let's see what we can find. Now, first of all, most probably I will have to get rid of that drone, but we are in a valley. Uh, although I don't have a bike, and the, the, and the bike would be... It looks like it froze to the ground over in here. Do I have a core? No. Right, let me just go and get the core before we do some anything else. Okay, here we are. I'm back with the core. That one is 300 meters away. It's gonna get closer. But what kind of a strange thing that is. I have absolutely no idea, but I love it. Oh, there are bugs on this planet. First alien life form encounter over here. Right, I don't know if they are not going to be hostile against me. Let's hope not, but I can already see those thrusters. Let's go in the front, because that one looks like a, it just smacked bang in the surface of the planet. Right, let me just get a nice picture. Let's see what we can find over in here. Oh, hello. That is going to be plenty of experience as well. But no idea. Oh, look at that. I have leveled up. That is glorious and fantastic news. Now, I'm not going to be touching those, as they mean me no harm. They mean no harm to me. Oh, crap. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, but how do I get up there? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I didn't expect that one to happen. Can I connect? No, I can't. Wow. That was really something different. Well, maybe not different, but... I didn't expect that at all. Okay, so I guess this is some sort of a pathway leading inside. Right, there's a container over in here with multi boost. That's nice. But what next? Uh, is there like elevation somewhere near here? Where I can spawn my drone? 
Okay, some cargo boxes. Lockdown. Oh, okay. Captain's override required. Nice. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Yes, of course. So if I can sit on that bench, <laughs> it's going to be really awkward to sit in a not right way up position, don't you think? Right. Ooh, now this is what I call good. Oh, yes, I know it. I know it. Okay, there's still one guy over there. There's a pentaxite tank. Some spiders. This is really awesome. Lab table. So we are still going up. Yeah, that's a sentry gun. Oh! So that is back part of a ship, I guess. Cryo chamber, oh! And there's a captain's chair, I guess. Right. <laughs> That's a lovely experience. <laughs> it really is, although I, I, I don't see anything. I have absolutely no idea why. Uh, right. Whoa. Oh, okay. I think that is the lockdown because I am now, if I, yeah, I will fall on my face. Right. No idea what I've just opened, but probably I've just opened doors leading to my grave. No, that's just captain's quarters, I guess. Oh, lockdown active. Okay. So I have to get up there somehow. Maybe I could stand on the chair. No need. Right. Cargo box. <laughs> if you fell asleep in that position, you will face down yourself during the night time, so you shouldn't be doing that. No, sorry. Right. Uh, what's that small table with multiples? That's nice. A, dipl a diplomatic mission goes all right. From what I have heard, this really feels like a pleasure cruise. Well, it didn't turn out that great. We are drifting around in space until we finally reach an agreement. Nonetheless, the, uh, a welcome change compared to all the combat deployments I had. Right. Well, I don't think it turned out good. But if I remove the lockdown... Now what? Let's try not to get killed myself. Right, I can go through those doors. Okay. That's good. Um, that's a cargo box. That one is a bit bigger. Okay, nothing inside, nothing special. What was that? Oh, just uh, nothing. I guess. That's just oxygen tank. It's a bitsy spider was walking up the wall. You can drain and wash the spider out. Okay. That was good. What the hell is that? That's a pentaxide tank. Okay. That's RCS. Oh, I have to watch out for my oxygen levels. Sleep until morning, that seems to be like bunk beds. But this one is in the right position, let's say, but that one isn't. 
they were prepared for both of those situations, for that situation, I guess. Right, warning. They say something about warning, come on. Unauthorized access detected. Engine's history, while equipped to be most advanced stealth drive, the Cameron still relies like all its predecessors on T14 plasma coupling. This lead to much critical critique in the past that only the many successful tests silenced. Okay, well, that makes me very, very happy. Of course, as usual. Let's take a shower. <laughs> and make a put sideways. Right, I've just shit on my face. That's just great. Okay, and my body radiation is dropping. Most probably due to the fact that my poo is really blessed. With anti-radiation components. Right, there's some oxygen. Let's take it. And soon, most probably, I will have to face a problem of lack of storage space. There is unfortunately a guy over in here that I don't like. I don't like this guy as well. But he's not that big of a deal. Oh, diplomatic meeting transcript. Delegate Skok, Skok voiced concerns about the potential security risk. The schematics of the engine compartment to reveal tempering with the T-14 plasma screws it might make a whole ship redundant. With hyperspeed it would then slam into the next planet like a whole dart on the Prometheum overload. Well, yeah, it did, <laughs> I guess. The chairman added jokingly, if that would be the case, then an extra durable reinforcement hull of the cloaking technology that this would be the most expensive hollowed out ever. Yeah, well, I guess he was right in a way. Because apparently something like that just happened. Whoa, 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 there's a guy. There is a guy. There's a lot of guys down there. Don't hide from me. Right, that one's empty. Okay, I will send my scout drone. Okay, there is a guy, there is a guy, there is a guy, but what about on the other side? No, there's none, but there are doors leading down there. Okay, that's good. They come in great numbers, as you can see. Or can come in great numbers. Okay, that seems to be a way out. This ship would be a nice potential ship for a capital vessel. What do you say? Do we try and snatch it? Of course, if I will find myself a core, I will try to at least get that core going and place my own to see what else have I missed. Or should have focused more on. Maybe there's going to be some hidden secrets in here. There are some spiders near here. Oh, okay. It doesn't seem to attack. That is really strange behavior. And if I don't understand AI behavior, then that is not good. Now, what's, 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 what's? What's going on there? Clonk. On the T14 plasma. Shoot. Right, so we have a generator. We have a core. And we have another generator. Right, I like it. Now, mm, you know what I usually do? I do something like that and then try to do something like this. Okay, fair enough. And now I will try to get as close as possible to the exit because if uh, because I am running low on oxygen 
Right. But I can always uh, place down that core right next over in here. How far my ship is? 135 meters. Let me just go and grab some oxygen and then return back to the ship to see if we can loot something else. Okay, so I actually brought the ship a bit closer to here so I can have my, you know, extension of of the transportation, teleportation or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so we have uh, one, two, three, four, five thrusters and they are small, but what is it? First of all, now, unfortunately, as usual, that is a base that kind of sucks. In terms of energy, it will blow up the generators, so we don't want to overload the CPU. There is some fuel, there is some oxygen. There's a fridge, one fridge. Have I looked at it? No, I have not, and I should have done that. Uh, equipment wise, armor lockers, benches, bunk beds, closets, and so on. NPC spawners, mm -hmm. some ventilator ramps. Oh, there are Taros sentry guns. Warp drive, that's Pentax, I think. Well, I don't see anything special in particular. Of course, you know, taking it all apart, that would give me huge benefit, nevertheless. But no, I'm not going to be doing that. Right, as we have leveled up, now as for the base go, I can unlock the deconstructor. Hmm. I'm just thinking, because if I don't get that CPU extended in my base, then I will blow up, I will blow up the generators to power up the constructor. So I would have to first take all the equipment that I have on the base that I want to take apart, put it in the storage, then build the constructor and something like that. Okay, but at least I have furnace. Do I want to build a furnace? There's really no point of me doing that. But I want to unlock the teleporter and ATM. ATM. Right, solar panels now, laser turrets, shield. Of course, I want to unlock shield. And what about capital vessel? Uh, tier generator, large thrusters. Um, no, I think that's it. Oh, there's a, there's a difference between... I have to unlock both of them. Different for a capital vessel and different vessel and different for my base. That, that really sucks. Okay, but the rest, I think we are okay. I don't need all of that, or at, least, or at least most of that. Right, let me just take that core with us, and we are gonna be going. Well, that was one strange of a adventure. The crashed on the planet. Those must be like ice popticles, obstacles, or whatever lipsticks, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, and yeah. We are flying back to the capital vessel that I have found earlier. I am a level 18 and that's going to be enough for me to start building. We're going to go back to the junkyard. I think it was over in here. That one? Yeah, junkyard. Log the target and off we go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Turn on the engines, dude. I need to make those switches and levers and stuff like that. Okay, guys, so that's gonna be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment for the gameplay, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you like what you see, and I hope that we will see each other in the next episode. And yes, we will be rebuilding that beauty of mine. Well, let me just show you. That beauty of mine. I'm planning to leave the top section as it is, and at the bottom make like engineering section. And yeah, the, that warp drive will be hidden underneath and underneath is not going to be underneath, underneath is going to be middle of the ship because we will have second floor. We'll have like two, three story high building, right? So yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment about the gameplay, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you like what you see. And I hope that we will see each other in the next episode. Where is that thingy jig? No idea. I haven't locked the target, have I? Log the target, and now we can jump there. Sweet. <laughs>